Some patients are uric acid making machines. It might be in their family history. Dad had gout, grandpa has gout, my dad's got gout as a matter of fact. And so if it's in your genes, you know, you're like, you just might be a uric acid making machine. And even though you take big doses of these medicines, you just can't get it under control. And you may gradually continue to build up uric acid in your body, even on medicines. I just saw a gentleman yesterday who came to my clinic, he'd been on allopurinol three years, still having attacks. Like, what the heck is going on? This is my first visit with him. And I, you know, I look and I see, well, yeah, your uric acid is lower, but it's not less than six, and so you're still having attacks. I mean, <laughs> this ain't working for you. You know, that kind of thing. So in that situation, when somebody, you know, the majority of my patients, again, more than 80% of my patients, I can control them with just those. But people like in Gary's situation, they need a stronger medicine, and that's this medicine. It's an IV medication called uricase or pegalotocase as the actual generic uh, name. And what that does, as Gary was mentioning, is that breaks down uric acid. It's an enzyme. So it's a protein. And the reason you can't swallow it like a pill is, as you know, when you swallow proteins, you break them down in your stomach. It wouldn't work if you swallowed it. That's why it has to go in through an IV. It has to get into your blood and start breaking that uric acid down. And just like Gary said, that uric acid that was high will quickly go way low when the medicine's working like it's supposed to.